So today we are going to talk about Food Rules by Michael Pollan. Uh, Michael Pollan, significantly this is my favorite um, dieting book that I've ever read. Uh, Michael Pollan has written three books on nutrition and he gets more and more concise every time, really condensing down uh, what his views are into the simplest elements. And the book can be summarized with a, sim a single sentence, which is, uh, eat real foods, not too much, mostly plants. Um, one of the things I like a lot about his book, uh, besides it being extremely concise and direct, is that it doesn't really take a super firm stance on um, dieting, like, I guess I want to say paradigms, in that a lot of dieting paradigms are advocate for like vegan or keto, high carb, low carb, high fat, low fat, and this sort of thing. And um, his argument is primarily against uh, heavily heavy processing and eating things that are not recognizable as food. He has uh, some rules of thumb, which is like what this book is. Like, uh, don't eat anything with an ingredient you can't pronounce, or don't eat something that has more than five ingredients, or don't eat something that your great-grandmother wouldn't recognize as food. Things like this. And so, uh, I like it a lot. One of the reasons, because uh, it's not uh, paying lip service to any particular uh, dieting paradigm. Uh, although, personally, uh, I'm on the keto end of things in terms of the literature I'm trusting in, but... Okay, uh, into the book. Uh, for utility, I gave it a 7.5. This isn't because, uh, which is a high score, but it's not... Um, it's especially high because it's very information-dense and very concise. It is why he scored high, uh, less so than uh, these rules being... These food rules being out of the park, uh, extraordinary, or, like, mind breaking. Uh, for entertainment, I gave it a 5.5. Um, it's a quick read. It's an easy read. Uh, there's some interesting tidbits that kind of make your head think a little bit, so Interest also got a 6. Uh, novelty got a 5. Nothing in here is going to blow your mind extremely unless you didn't think that processed foods were bad for you, I suppose. But at the same time, it's not going to score tremendously low on novelty because uh, there might be some information you're not aware of, and it might teach you something or redirect your attention, and so I scored it, you know, middle of the pack. Uh, for style, I gave him an 8. Um, I think I really like his very concise and straightforward style, especially when a lot of nutrition information is really gummed up with people uh, just correlating... So there's been a huge rise in like food, or, you know, obesity, diabetes, all these things over the past 60 years. And what most nutrition books, whether they're vegan or keto or whatever the paradigm is, what they do is they just correlate data uh, to this epidemic like rise and then they act as if it's proof and they're correlating all to the same data. And the real problem with um, food uh, or dieting information is it's really hard to do uh, uh, in-depth, uh, long-term studies, uh, because participants will just, uh, deviate from the, the protocols. And so, it's tough to find reliable information. Um, anyways, style 8, readability 9.5. It's super easy to read. The, everything's condensed. It's portioned out. He doesn't go this way and that way. Uh, difficulty is a 9. Uh, anyone can read this. Um, so, the overall is a 7.2, which I think is the second highest I've scored a single book this year, although obviously I haven't put all my scorings up here. Um, I really like this book. Favorite book on nutrition. Um, uh, interestingly, my two favorite books on nutrition don't actually have a lot of information about dieting paradigms. I think I'm kind of mistrustful of uh, like keto books or vegan books, even though I believe in the keto information for the most part, but kind of willing to change that. Anyways, so I would, rec the, I would recommend this book, I think, to anyone who has not read a single book on nutrition. Like, if I were to give someone, if I had to make a prescription for someone of books to read, and they had never read a single book on nutrition, and I had 10 slots to fill, 
uh, and I'm trying to be uh, as efficient as possible. So I could just give them 10 really long books and then be like, oh, I gave them tons of information, but trying to give them really efficient books, I would give this book to anyone who hasn't read a book on nutrition. It would be in the top 10 pretty much no matter what. Um, so I like this book a lot. Would recommend.